Hockey New Zealand as an entity is the, yeah, obviously the national sports organisation for the sport of hockey in New Zealand. We've got 90,000 people playing in the community, so we are growing at all levels, not domestically, we're also growing at international level. Kids start when they're five and we've got our national masters tournament coming up early next year and we'll have 80 year olds out there running around on the field, so it's really a sport for all the family or, or whanau. One of our unique, I think, real selling points is that we are truly a dual gender sport. Our women's team in particular have been in the world's top five consistently over the last probably 10 to 12 years. Working for Hockey New Zealand is an opportunity to engage with and provide benefit to the wider community. People come first and I think that's why we are so successful as an organisation as a whole, because we have people at our base. Certainly one of the real values that we have in hockey is that a lot of our international players still turn out for their clubs during a winter season and they are accessible and you know visible to kids and you know other people around the game and I think that is a real strength of what we've got in the game at the moment. My personal view is that our competition isn't rugby or netball or touch, our competition is PlayStation and obesity and sitting couch watching TV. With BDO when we work with our clients we definitely like to challenge their thinking, uh, discuss what they're doing with their business but also try and give some insights as to what we're seeing in the market and what we're seeing in the sector. BDO provide us the inside knowledge in the area of finance. They'll challenge you, they'll make sure that you're doing the right thing. And being able to play devil's advocate and challenge them on what the worst case actually is, is actually quite enlightening for them. Every single dollar we actually manage to raise goes back into the program. Either we're investing that one back into half a farmer's team or it's going into the community level. You can't simply disengage one and focus on the other. We do try and take a coordinated approach across commercial partners, philanthropic opportunities and also gaming trusts and also local government to try and, you know, get as much money as we can that can be utilised for the good of the game. With the government funding there are requirements attached to that funding and, and a key part of what we do is making sure the client's fully aware of what those requirements are and making sure that they're, that they're tracking in line with those. We've got a number of people that do support us but Sir Owen Glenn has been the, the primary one over the, the last few years and he made uh, an initial donation to help set up the Hockey Foundation. For us as advisors it's really useful for us being across a number of different sports. We have through our Wellington office some really good connections with high performance sport and Sport New Zealand. We work with New Zealand Rugby League, with New Zealand Football, so we're able to see different funding models, different ways in which that funding is channeled and passed through the network. That oversight and that experience enables us to add a bit of value when we come and to audit the business or advise the business. Because at the end of the day, what we want is young people coming out of secondary school, having had the chance to find the thing that they truly love and have a passion for. And if that's hockey, that's fantastic. But if that's football, netball, rugby, that's fine as well. We have a, you know, a lower player base than particularly our European counterparts, but I think all of that we make up for with, you know, the kind of Kiwi can-do attitude and the resilience and flexibility that our athletes have.